drive down and you're gonna have to do it. I can't get it to change screens. I keep hitting it and that arrow thing comes up and it's to the left of it. It will not, it won't go over. It will not go over. I keep I hitting it, it goes to a movie. I go back, hit it, 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 don't, it doesn't go to there. You wanna rent this one? No. Hit it, something else, no. Never mind. Wow. It will not change screens. So you have problems with red box. And I'm hitting all the way to the very edge that I can go. I haven't pinkied it and everything. Nothing. Can't not get it to change screens. Well, so I'm going to go handle business is what you're saying. With your small <laughs> fingers, you and your small <laughs> little kid fingers, yeah. I will, I will handle business. Small <laughs> little kid fingers are needed because I can't. Well, I'll show you right now. You don't need to show me. No, I'm showing you. No matter if you want me to show you or not, I'm showing you. Start talking. What are, you, what, are you, what are you talking to me for then? Talk to the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a spectator. I'm celebrating 1,000. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to another Wolf Tick video in beautiful Arkansas. <laughs> so, today is one of our big celebrations. Uh, we are celebrating our 1,000 subscribers. This is a Genesis, Genesis Men's Velotti. 27.5. What is a Velotti? I don't know. It sounds Italian. It it's not Italian. It's Chinese. So what we got here for our thousand subscriber count so far, we got a new bike. You know, last time we had a new bike, that was for one of our uh, 700 milestones. This one's for a thousand. Who knows? 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, however many subscribers we get. I don't know. We might, uh, might be on the start of something good here. But today we are going to break open this Genesis Men's Velotti 27.5 inch bike. And like I said all the time, we're probably just going to do a little bit of fast forwarding through that portion of it. I'm going to get it built up. There's a few things that uh, the reason why we got this bike was, one, it was $174. That's a crazy steal in my eyes. I haven't ridden the bike yet. There's not really too many reviews out there on it. And uh, we're just going to uh, kind of put it together and really get a feel for it. One of the things that was a big draw for me as far as wanting to order the bike was it had both front and back disc brakes. This is a Walmart bike. It has uh, quick shifters, and it is an all-aluminum frame, aluminum wheels, 27.5. Now, this bike doesn't have any kind of like small, medium, large, extra large size as far as the frame goes. You know how Walmart does. It's pretty much whatever wheel it is. It's supposed to suit riders. This bike's supposed to suit riders for 5.5 five, five, five to like 5.9 or 5.10, something really? like that. Damn, I thought this one was a 5.6 to 6.1 or 2 or something. I don't know. It, it, it's vague, basically. You know, you can't get a, um, a sized bike at Walmart. It's just, you know, however Most of the time. Be. Most of the time. Anyway, all right, so we got the Men's Velotti. Let's go ahead and break into this guy and get this thing unboxed and put together and see what it looks like. Hopefully, it's not meant for like a 6.4, 6.5 person like the last bike was. Hey, you got to go with what you can get. There you have it. There you have it. Still, <laughs> I, still didn't little. Steal, I did mean to steal your thunder. Anyway, so there's the unboxing. Let's go ahead and take this thing to the shop and kind of talk about it a little bit. Uh, some of the first uh, initial impressions on the Men's Genesis Velotti 27.5. Talk about it. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and break down the Men's Velotti Genesis Mountain Bike 27.5 inch. And this is the Stone Series, the 1x8 drivetrain collection. Yes, it's a 1x8 for $174 from Walmart. 
I'm as shocked as you guys were when I seen the pictures on the internet. And which there's not really much pictures on the internet or information on the internet. So hopefully you guys watching this video that are looking at buying this bike or just kind of uh, never seen it before and you want to get some info on it, perfect video for you guys to be watching. Now the handlebars, they are 26 and a half, 26 and 26 and like 5 eighths inches. I'm not sure what that is in millimeters, but I will probably put that on the screen and I'll convert it for you. The stem. The stem is a two-bolt stem, and I don't really like the looks of the two-bolt stem. I like the four-bolt personally, but I think that's just one of those things that's more aesthetic and not so much, uh, I don't know, functionality. You know, I think it works just the same. It just looks cooler, in my opinion, with the uh, four as opposed to the two. It does have front and back disc brakes, and they're 160 millimeter brakes. One thing I don't like that I see already is both of the brake pads, they're rounded brake pads. One fell out earlier. It's a rounded brake pad. An area on the top part of the brake pads to put a cotter pin. And you can't put one in it because that little separator deal inside there is right in the way. So that doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of worried about that, especially when it goes time to take a tire off or something, if they might accidentally fall if there's not any pressure being put on there. It comes with Vitesse. 27.5 by 2.3 inch wide tires. Now that's pretty cool. Most bikes from big box stores usually come with a 2.1 or less. And for this thing to be a 2.3, and it actually looks like there's room on the sides of the frame for uh, maybe a 2.4 or a 2.6 maybe. So that's the uh, tires. Now the forks, the forks don't really look like they have all that much travel on it. I'm kind of worried about that. Maybe 80 at the most is what we're going to get out of these guys. And of course they are coil forks. And one thing that's weird too is the stanchions aren't like chrome. You know, they're just matte black painted. Now, the bike is actually pretty heavy. It's supposed to be an uh, aluminum frame, and it is an aluminum frame, but I did get a magnet out earlier, and I felt the crank arms are steel. The handlebars are steel. The stem is steel. The forks are steel, and the, whims are, the rims are aluminum. And one thing that it doesn't have that I really wish it has, I wish it had the quick release on the front and back tires. But it doesn't. They're like 15 millimeter, and that would really suck if you got flat out in the trails and you couldn't just use your hand and you know pop it right off there. But let's talk about this drivetrain. One thing that's weird about the crank set, and it kind of takes away from the whole bike looking like a one by eight. Because believe me, I like that whole clean look of a one by eight for sure. And this thing's one by eight gets taken away the cool look because it has this like chain guard thing around the outside. I guess that's supposed to be intended for like a chain stay. The shifters are Kazuno. Eight, or the shifter, I guess I could say shifter because it's only a, it's a one by, but uh, the shifter is a Kazuno 8-speed shifter. It does have a little display window in there to let you know what gear you're in, which is nice, I don't know, for people that have to look down or maybe they're doing uh, some uh, light trail stuff or they're commuting with the bike. That is nice that it gets to see what gear you're in, but when you're mountain bike riding, I don't ever look at it. It's just mainly by feel. I'm not sure how many teeth the uh, front chain ring has, but the rear is a 13 to 32 on the rear cassette. And the uh, derailleur is a Micro Shift 26. Now, that's going to be interesting to use. I haven't uh, ridden it yet, but definitely be giving a review whenever I ride it. And I just came out of the box and I just put it together, as you guys saw. And uh, the cassette brand is a Kazuno. Never heard of that. Uh, let's see, real quick, let's see how it shifts right out of the box. Uh, Gotta do some adjustment on that. Kind of intense, so we're definitely gonna have to uh, do some adjusting on the rear derailleur for sure. Another thing that was noted on this bike, and I read up on it, is the hanger is a part of the frame. It's not a separate hanger like most bikes, where you have that little attachment area for another hanger just in case this one breaks off. If you break that whole thing off and you don't have a warranty or something on this bike, that can be a, a big problem, you know. Man, hopefully it's something that uh, helps you guys out making a decision on buying this bike if it's something that you're into. And if you're not completely sold on it or it's something that you know, you're not even aware of yet um, and you're just a subscriber of the channel or you're checking the channel out for the first time, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notifications on because I will be taking this bike on a review ride and uh, kind of be doing a real-time uh, how I feel about the bike, how it handles. Well, that's pretty much the initial review on this thing. Uh, the top cap says KCT. If you guys can come up with something funny that KCT stands for, uh, let me know. Put that in the comments below. What could KCT stand for? Maybe you guys know something I don't. 
and uh, I don't know, I'm really excited about writing it, you know, but I'm also really excited about having a thousand subscribers, so that just shows that we're doing a good job, and again, man, we can't uh, thank you guys enough for subscribing and viewing our content, so thank you guys very much for that. Take care of yourselves, and take care of your bikes, and thank you guys for watching Wolf Tick videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. I can't wait to ride this thing. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting for sure, just... A Walmart bike for $174 that comes with all this. I don't know. It's going to be sketchy.